Hello and welcome to another deck profile by Team Ragnarok. This is Michael here and today I have a very special deck so to say for you. Um, it's an insect deck um, and now you might already be thinking insect yeah. I'm not gonna play that, that sucks. But I have actually not lost with this deck yet. Um, not to say that it's Taiwan or anything because I haven't played uh, plant synchro or great keepers or something like that. I haven't played against that. I have only played against hopeless dragon, frog monarch, and a different black wing and other kind of things like that. So yeah, let's get it started. So got three doom doozer, um, level eight insect, and uh, you can. Sp its effect is that. You have to remove two insect monsters from your grave to special summon it. Uh, it has 28 attack and 26 defense and it's just your beat stake. This is more or less what's gonna win you the game because your insects are not that strong. Yeah, uh, free insect to beat the worm warrior. Um, this is another special summon monster. Remove one insect type. Your grave to special summon it, and it has 19 attack and 400 defense, and it's just your level 4 uh, beat stick that you can swarm because this deck doesn't really have a lot of special summon ability, and more or less this one is what drives the deck, makes the deck possible. Uh, we got some recruiters, free flying Kamikiri. Uh, why it's in here, you will know when I get to the spell lineup, but. It's to fetch itself and to fetch Beale Soldier. Got free uh, Howling Insect. Also another recruiter. Uh, like this is like Giant Red just for win, and this is like Master Dragon just for insect because yeah you use it to search other insect monsters with 15 or less. Um, yeah, then you got. Yeah, just normal beat stick if you doesn't have anything else to do. Kogimiro Beetle, uh, its effect is if your opponent special summons a light or dark monster, it's changed to defense, so it can't be beaten by Cyber Dragon and whatnot. Um, its effect is not all that useful, but the alternative is Insect Warrior, so yeah. And, and it's like all other Kogimiros, you got to show an insect or it's destroyed or some Kogimiro thing. Two Spider Spider, uh, it works a lot like Fulham Knight, destroy a defense position monster, special summon uh, another spider from a graveyard. Then we got the draw engine, two Billist Soldier. Um, it might seem very slow, but this is really, it really works. Uh, Billist Soldier's effect is that you tribute itself and another insect monster on the field to draw two cards. Um, and I will get back to how the deck works in the end. Single Junk Synchron, uh, because you can get back a uh, Beetle Soldier, uh, Shining Black Sea, and Infernity Beetle, which will be shown in a minute. And it helps you make Synchro combos and things. Um, and Infernity Beetle, it's an insect and it's a, a tuner. Um, I only got one, so you're obviously not going to use this effect. It's only there to be synchroed with. And I, I think it's enough because you can always search it with all the different search cards. A sh single shiny black sea, uh, removed from the grave to destroy a synchro when a synchro summoned, very useful. And also it's level 1, which is important. Uh, I'll get back into that. Um, the spell lineup, what runs the deck, free Verdant Sanctuary, uh, continuous spells. Uh, whenever an uh, insect is destroyed, it doesn't matter if, if it's by battle or by effect. You can search a new one uh, from your deck with um, the same level. Um, so obviously you got a, a lot of level 4s in the deck and this will make a lot of combos live. I will get back into that. Uh, 2 Mystical Space Typhoon, 2 Dark Hole. No, not a Dark Hole and a Monster Reborn and 2 Book of Moon. More or less just stable spells. In my opinion, at least, you got two layer wire, uh, and yeah, obviously we have gone to the, gone to the traps now. Two layer wire, uh, very very versatile. 
Um, you remove an insect and destroy a monster. It doesn't matter if it's face up or face down. Uh, so you can stop synchro plays, uh, stop all kinds of com combos, and it's never dead. Rarely dead, uh, of course, if he doesn't have an insect in the grave, but it doesn't matter too much. Skill drain, yeah, uh, almost, I think, Junk Synchron and Spider Spider are the only monsters affected by this. So, obviously, Skill drain shuts down a lot of decks, so it's very powerful. Two Bottomers, a Mirror Force, Torrential, and some Judgment. The Stable, oh, can't see it. The Stable Traps. And a single return from a different dimension. This can make huge advantage plays or just in the game. So because you're gonna remove all the time. You have like five or six removed at least insects every game. So yeah. Um here's how the deck works, or some of the combos at least. Um obviously the deck can work without Verdon Sanctuary, uh, but it, it would be very good if you got it. So let's say you got one or two. Two would be better, but... Uh, this for this example you got one wooden sanctuary and a flying kamakiri. Flying kamakiri is level, um, it's level 4. And your opponent got a 2000 attack or I don't know, a cyber dragon or something. In attack mode. Um, and for wooden it needs to be face up, so it doesn't help that you just said. Um, flying kamakiri. You attack your opponent's monster if he doesn't have a response. If he if he if he use a mirror force, yeah, uh, that's fine because he wasted a power card and you still get to search with burden sanctuary. But yeah, you, if you kill itself, you search for an insect bead um, and bring out a new flying kamikiri. You kill itself, bring out a new one, search for an insect bead or whatever. You can search for another level four uh, suicide again. Let's say this time you search for a Kokimiro Beetle or something. And then you bring out uh, the only wind you got except for Flying Kamakiri, which is Spearless Soldier. Now you got three Flying Kamakiri in the graveyard, so you can spread some Insectipede by removing one. You tribute, tri you use Spearless Soldier's effect, tribute, draw two new cards. So now you have gotten plus three or four of them. Uh, remember, you special mana a new one if you need it, and then you got a monster on the field in case your opponent's gonna make a huge play. And obviously, because you draw two cards, you're gonna have something to set or some defensive uh, move. So yeah, um, that is the most basic combos. And all obviously, you're not gonna pull that off every time, but. Just having Word and Sanctuary on the field really helps because you never really lose advantage in any way and you always have a hand. Um, also another combo you can do with Word and Sanctuary is uh, more like an OTK in the late game. Let's say you got some level 4. I put this off once or twice I think and two Word and Sanctuaries and your opponent has like three or four monsters you can just Specimen Doom Doozer and activate um, either Chain Torrent Tribute or in response to the summon or um, activate Dark Hole or something. You do that, these two are sent to the grave. You get two for each because both Verdon Sanctuaries works for, for each insect type monster. So Doom Doozer is a level 8, so you can only search for Doom Doozer. You can search for two of those. And you, you search for um, to Insectipede, and yeah, you're just gonna special summon them all, and you got, you got game. So let's hit, yeah. So and and like I said before, Shiny Black Sea is level one, so you, obviously you can search for it. Um, with um, if Beelus so just dies with Verdant Sanctuary or something, yeah, there's a lot of plays you can do. But yeah, let's move to the. Extra deck, you got two underground arachnid. Um, the this monster is very good. It requires a insect non tuner and a dark tuner. So you can make it by either going um, infernity beetle and whatever level four insect beetle or something, or you can go 
with um, Junk Synchron and Howling Insect. So yeah, um, and it when it declares an attack, your opponent cannot activate spell traps. So if they want to use Book of Moon, they have to do it right away, right away. So you can make more plays in the main phase, um, and it gets around Deep Prison, Mirror Force. It doesn't care about those cards. And um, once per turn, you can equip an uh, an opponent's monster to this. So when it get out, get out, you're just gonna prioritize this and prioritize the effect, and you are instantly gonna remove a monster from an opponent's side of the field. Um, also, if it's destroyed, you can destroy the uh, only destroyed by battle. You can destroy the equipped monster instead, so uh, very good synchro. Um, you got a single junk destroyer. It's very easy to summon actually. I gotten it off a couple of times. Obviously you're not gonna go for it if you got um, skill drain. So let's say you have um, Shiny Black Sea or Beelish Soldier or something in the graveyard uh, and something, some El some other insects like Doom or whatever. Special on Insectipede, the move, whatever insect. Norms on Junk Synchron, bring out Beelish Soldier. Uh, and you synchro to level 8 and destroy two monsters uh, or two cards. So, yeah. Um, actually, a good play. Not a bad play, at, le at least. Uh, you got the obvious Stardust Dragon, some other stable like. Uh, there's not re really a dedicated synchro. So, you just got the Junk Destroyer, the Underground Arachnid, and the rest is more or less just stable stuff. Colossal, Ad of Justice, Goyo. Army arm because you can make it in an if you really need to with junk synchron uh, because you can bring out video surgery and stuff like that. Uh, Dark again, magical android and camera tech. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna side a cyber dragon, I don't really know uh, what I'm gonna side yet because this is more like fun, fun deck. Uh, so, uh, but you can always monster reborn your opponent's cyber dragon and do whatever. And Grab Archfiend because if you play Skill Drain, you can make level 7s, and there's not really a dedicated level 7 for insects, so this is just a beat stick you can bring out if you got Skill Drain and got nothing else to go for. Um, and you might have noticed Dark and Dragon. How am I supposed to bring that out in a deck without no Dark Monsters? Uh, and it's with Monster Reborn, everything is possible, and it's not like I'm limited on extra deck space, so. I just threw it in because it's possible. I made it once. Monster Reborn your opponent's Kaius and then uh, summon Infantry Beetle. So, yeah, um, that's the deck. And um, hope you liked it. Liked it. And I am going to upload some games with it uh, when possible. I don't know when it's gonna be possible. Uh, Maybe next week or something. Um, and yeah, until then, happy dueling. See ya.